seen nuns in a long time. Three and three and one go. front of the museum. As I say it's nice inside and they're very uh, helpful. They give you a little tour and, and give you a speech on what's what. This building here it was uh, it's been there since 1694 and the little alleyway next to it just here it's got a little bit of history attached to it as well. I'll take a walk over in a bit but I just wanted to show you this. There's, um, it's got the old public wells, one lies under the road 20 feet from here, approximately 25 feet deep, 6 feet wide, with 8 foot depth of water. It was filled up in March 56. So I'm assuming it's under this road here somewhere, the well. And this little alleyway here is called Branco's Banking House. Hang on, to zoom in a bit. From 1703 to 1722, this building was the banking house of William Duff of Dipple and Bracco, ancestor of the Earls of Fife. Bracco's banking house. To me, it looks a bit of an Art Deco building over there. Building just here is a ex services club. So if you're in the forces, you can become a member. Here we have the courts, the Elgin Sheriff Court, Justice of Peace Court. to be a little font I'm not sure but it, it's got a little crown on the top and all around the sides it gives you a history of Elgin
Street. I don't know what this is an aid of. Like a mermaid man, a merman. Dandelion. <laughs> He's dressing his best to stake tweeds and find Kashmir cardigan from Johnson's Mill founded on the banks of the River Lossie in 1797. So that's what it is then. A very old town, Elgin. A lot of buildings are still very old. Just here we have Weatherspoons, the Muckle Cross. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little walk around Elgin. Um, down around the castle was nice. I haven't been there. That was the first time I've been to the castle. Uh, like I said, I've been in the museum. That's quite nice and they're very helpful. Well worth a visit if you were ever up in Elgin up this way. Um, like I say, the town itself is very, very old. A lot of buildings are dilapidated and empty and covered in seagull uh, poo all down the windows. I mean, you can see those behind me. And then just on the other side, you see all boarded up. There's that statue behind me, that merman. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's just a little taster of Elgin. I mean, it's nice for what it is. It's like I said, a very old city. Um, but yeah, the castle's nice and around the castle is quite a nice area. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. So please do the usual. Subscribe, give us a like and leave a comment. And uh, look forward to you on the next one. See you again. Bye.